Welcome back everybody and welcome if you are new today we're in the fix super late models today at Fairbury Hopefully we could run pretty decent I had the second fastest time in practice I only really tried like one lap at it on the bottom and then the rest of the time I ran like middle just to try to wear it in more Try to leave the bottom as much as possible for qualifying But we'll see what we can do here I think the race is gonna be a lot of top once uh, we wear out the bottom just a little bit, but we'll see what we can do here in qualifying Definitely had a better turn one than I did in practice. I had somebody coming out of pit lane and stayed a little high on my lap. So that honestly is probably going to be a pretty good lap. Second lap is not going to matter. 808? Hell yeah. Let's go. I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that one. Hopefully we can hold pole with that. That would be really nice. And uh, try and just run a little bit of the bottom in the beginning to uh, get away some. And then... Probably transition up once uh, I can see some people really getting that top rolling, but I think the top's going to be very, very uh, fast later on. Ryan's saying he can't run when it's tacky. I'm, I'm like really good and tacky at like a lot of places, and then once it gets top down in here, I, I'm not as fast, but we're going to do the best we can. 40 laps, a lot of cautions probably because uh, there's 14 of us and only one split here. Not, not that many people registered, so we'll see what we can do in the race. All right, we held on to the pole, which is great. I'm very happy about that. Ryan's telling me in four, he's in fourth. That he's like, I might just try to send it for uh, like up top on the first lap. I don't think it's going to be as fast to start with, but I definitely think it's going to get up there at some point. We'll see our lap times when we're running. Because I know I could run like a 12.1, 12.0 sometimes, but more like a 12.1, 12.2 consistently up there. So once the times slow off a little bit on the bottom, I'll transition up try to pay attention to them but hopefully we can have a nice clean race for the most part 40 laps can go by very quick here which would be nice but i can uh, imagine there would be some wrecks potentially so we'll see what happens we got control of the lead at least which is good i'm happy about that and hopefully we can get a good start Everybody's stuck side by side back there, so I can kind of run the lanes I want when they can't, which is nice. And we already got caution number one. We like we're just hitting the line too. We didn't even fully hit the line, so everybody's gonna have to reset in their positions. Somebody's already disconnected. Oh my goodness, the guy in third was just like flying to get back up here. I don't know why, but. Uh, We'll run it back, see what we can do. I don't think it's going to be on bottom for long, to be fair. I really don't at all. I think it's going to go top quite quick. Third place did not have a good jump this time. We nearly got the tire down there. That was sketchy, but we're good. Like, I sent it way down low. 11.953. Trying to pay attention to them a little bit back there, running the top. They are making it work for the most part. There goes somebody's tire. This guy up here is not going to be able to turn. Definitely want to go low, and that's going to bring out caution number two, maybe? Oh, geez. He came back down the track. I don't know. I thought he was going to uh, stop on the track, and there it is. Now we're lap five, two cautions in. Like whenever right. we're coming around to the green, Ryan's asking if his uh, front end's all right. Uh, Sam just said no. <laughs> Nobody's catching up to me it up here, <laughs> but uh, we'll see what happens here All on right. this restart. Hopefully we can get a, another good start. Different guy on our outside. Third and second green swap flag, spots. Flag. Very bad start there. I may need to slide up here. Inside. Clear. 12 .1. Now we got to start running top which is going to be interesting real deep sliders here oh i was too much while i'm throttle there i was spinning my tires very poorly We're gonna be like almost three wide there i was trying not to cut down too hard on ryan's nose they probably thought i was gonna throw a slider i was trying to see if the bottom would work again Probably should have thrown a slider in three and four there. Because three and four seems like it's been faster up top. And caution. So we're back to third. Not the worst thing in the world. Still running. Oh my god, this guy's upside down. Unfortunate. 
All right, we're getting ready to go green again. Hopefully, uh, we can have a good restart here on third. Ryan saying his screen is turning off on him, which is not a good thing. Oh, that bump off of four was so terrible. That definitely got me a little loose on the front stretch. Maybe Ryan's screen will blink again on him and uh, he's gonna screw up potentially. We'll see. But it seems like it's transitioned to the top and we're smacking the wall immediately on the back stretch. The top is very tough for me to run here. Like I'm pretty good on the bottom and, uh, when we had in qualifying there and then like those first few laps, but we're gonna see what we can do up top. It sounds like somebody's wrecked, but they might've towed it, it sounds like, which is good. I was trying to do some practice uh, before this race, just running the top by itself, because I'm not great at it, as you can see. Got to smack the wall a bunch, try not to kill our right front on the wall. We can finish top four, I'd be happy. These guys seem very quick. Like, we're card two. If we finish fourth, we still should gain a little bit, I would imagine, which is fine. But as long as uh, we can get better at running the top and try to run with these guys, it'd be good experience. Because short tracks like this, just where it gets top dominant, I'm not great at it. So that's why I was really happy with qualified pole. Didn't expect to uh, win this race by any means, because I knew it would transfer up here. And I knew I'd be late on it, which we were. We off of one restart. I should have gotten up early and stayed down there a little too long. Then we got in a slider battle and lost that. But sticking right with the three car right now, which is pretty good. I feel like we're, we've been gaining on him barely, like inches. Wow. Zero, Trying six, to uh, tap the wall at the right rear a little, keep the car somewhat straight, but trying not to get in the back of Sam. We got a couple lap one, cars up here, nine, which is gonna make four, things very three, interesting. Leader at 12199. We did a 154, so we were as fast as the leader when we hit it right, I think. 12.1. Got real tight there. God, we are on his ass. Like, I'm trying not to run him over. We're gone from like fifth and then back, which is nice. Happy about that. Oh, the lap cars are running two different lanes. That's lovely to see. And we get a caution. So at least we don't have to deal with them back here. We're going to restart on the outside. Might be able to get in front of Sam here on this one. All right, starting on the outside for the first time. Hopefully we get a good enough jump to where we can stay on the outside of the three car here. And uh, we might be able to clear him after a lap or so if uh, we can run the top well enough. We had a pretty decent start. I'm very happy with that. Ryan's gonna go throw sliders immediately on the restart. I don't blame him. Sam had a really good turn one down there. Because we weren't like up to speed or anything, so there's not a ton of momentum. They hit a little bit for first place. I screwed up that entry a little bit. Sam is running really well down there on the bottom, though, I'll tell you that. Leader got up in the wall. Wasn't sure if uh, he was still going to be in the wall, so I cut down. Can't get to the outside of Ryan there. Sam is running really good down there on the bottom right now. That's crazy. The top's definitely faster, but he's running that bottom good because everybody who's like throwing sliders and stuff on each other. He, if, if it goes long enough up here, we should all pass him, I imagine. Just got to not screw this up. Because we have so much more momentum than he does down there. Dang it, bad exit. I thought I was going to go out and smack the wall, so I let off. Good three and four there. Slow cars on the top and another caution. So he didn't even gain any spots by the time he hit the line, unfortunately, for that one. So restart. Last time is going to probably be double file. All right. Hopefully we can have as good of a restart as we did last time because we actually were able to stay on the outside of Sam. They were throwing sliders up front, which kept him in the loop down there because uh, it slowed both of them up, slowed me up a little bit behind them. It was super tight racing. A lot of fun. Oh, I got on the gas too hard. I just completely goosed it on that restart. He's probably going to be able to pull up in front of us because we have a gap if he desires 
Brian is all over the leader. <laughs> Slow car on the top. Sounds like it's going to be a caution unless they towed it. Nope, there's a guy wrecked up here. That sucked, man. I wish I could hear that. That's unfortunate. So now everything's going to be single file from here on out. Last 10 laps. All right, coming around to the green. Hopefully we can go green to the end here, being single file. Because maybe people were racing too wide too much and uh, getting into each other. Be ready. But we need to try to get a good start here, not fall back too far. We need to not spin the tires. The solid restart. Sam's actually going to go to the bottom off the start. Very interesting. So does the guy that was behind us. The top's just dominant once you get the momentum rolling. So I'm shocked that he went down there. He has been running well down there, but I just think that the momentum will get anybody by him if it goes long enough because he does run really well down there oh too much throttle need to settle down there not be stupid i'm screwing up a ton right now he's throwing a slider outside clear clear outside 12 26 going well i need to focus up on what we're doing Outside, outside, clear up top, 12.5, They're battling hard for the lead. There's a three-way battle up there, which is crazy. If I haven't screwed up so much, we might be up there with them. Because when we had that long green flag run, we were pretty fast. And we had a huge gap back on fifth and stuff like that. We're pulling away from him again. Like, as long as we don't screw up, we're pretty quick. Somebody destroyed their car. Luckily, they got out. Love to see that. Thank you for getting off the track and not bringing out another caution. Leader and Ryan are throwing it hard up there. Watch out to see if they wreck it all. I got the wall. Sam is going to fucking win this thing. Holy shit, that guy got the tire down there. What a win by Sam. Great job. That was crazy. And Ryan and the other guy were just battling so damn hard. It kept him in down there. What a run by him. That's amazing. Way to stick that bottom and uh, keep it going. That's a great win. Great win by Sam there. I don't know how Sam and the uh, other guy, I forgot, I didn't uh, see the other guy's name too much, Caden. I don't know how when he sent it, uh, where was it? He sent it right here in three and four. I don't know how he didn't destroy him because he barely got enough room to get down there and not hit him with the right rear and then both just go up to the wall. He destroyed it, uh, the tire there. Uh, it popped back in place, though. But, man, what an absolute crazy race. Ryan ended up getting second there. We take fourth. I'll take that because uh, these kind of tracks are very tough to me. But what a run by Sam there on the bottom. That was crazy. But let's go through, see the incidents and all the wrecks that happened. 12 car goosing it off the start. Just, just to nailing the 11 car there because he goosed it. 5 car wall. Oh, that guy just got the wall, spun himself around. Uh, this 5 car had nowhere to go, huh? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. He straightened out early, got the wall, and it spun him around. Nowhere for that guy to go. Quite unfortunate. And then I think his steering is broken at that point. Dale Jr. car. I love to see the Dale Jr. car on late models. It looks so good. But in the wall he goes. 56, straightened out real early. And then sideways, straightening out wall. Uh, that's where he destroyed his tire. Uh, I remember that because I'm like, oh, yeah, that guy's not going to be able to turn. Then he started coming back down the track in front of Sam and all of them. And then got back out of the way. And then that brings out the next caution. This is under green, it looks like. Yeah, then the five car hits the brakes and then gassed it up. Oh, and then the, that 12 car had nowhere to go. That is how he ended up upside down. That's pretty funny, actually. But uh, he just flipped himself there. 11 car in the wall. Looks like 11 car is going to be in the wall again. I'm in the wall up here, I would imagine. On the straight, on the straight, yeah. Because I think this is like right when we started going to the top. Yeah, Ryan says he should have won. A lot of people would have thought they should have won. There was a three-way battle, so it is what it is. You guys had a tough battle up there. 12-car wall, a lot of walls. Oh, three-way battle here. They went three wide. Uh, clean, surprisingly. Five cars in the wall. What's going to happen here? Ran the back of them, but at least he checked up. He didn't wreck them. Just in the back of them. Probably got a 2x. Eight car in the wall, one car sideways trying to miss them, and then overcorrect really badly there. Easy to do. Seven car in the wall. Oh, geez, these guys are hitting really hard. This uh, 12 car is very, oh, uh, I was going to say he's very off pace, but the caution was out. I don't know what the caution was for because I didn't see anything. 
And these guys were battling hard behind us for a little while. This is when we had like a decent... Oh, wait, no, we just finished a decent run at this point. That's what it was. But man, they were fighting so hard up front. It was crazy, like a crazy three-way battle up front. And uh, it just... Kudos to Sam on sticking to the bottom where I really didn't think that was going to work out for him. But because they kept battling and throwing sliders and stuff on each other, it did. And uh, he was just fast enough down there on the bottom. It made it work. But that probably brought the next caution, him getting uh, shunted over 90 degrees sideways. Is it stuck now? Oh, he right hooked the hell out of that dude. What the hell happened? Did he come down or the 11 came up? Oh, he was super sideways. I think the 11 would have left him enough room up here if he was straight. But he's like 45 degrees sideways, just hooked him right. That's unfortunate for the 11. Then we're going to have a caution here, I know, in a lap or so. I don't know what for. This is what for. There's like a three-way wreck, four-way wreck. The seven car gets in two sideways, the eight car runs him over because he's sideways, and then everybody's just beating and banging into each other. That's it. And then we went green to the end, at least, the last, like, eight laps, which was really nice. I was happy about that. We pulled away from fifth a little bit, which was nice. Everybody's still beating and banging a little bit. It was a crazy finish, though. Very crazy finish. Was not expecting that at all. He just destroyed the wall, destroyed his turning. Uh, absolutely nowhere for him to uh, go anymore. He actually got off the track. He was the car that got off track there at the end. Didn't bring out a caution. I'm shocked they didn't bring out a caution with those two going by. But what a crazy finish this was. This is the last corner of the race. Don't know how he didn't take out both of them. That's just absolutely crazy. Never would have tried that in my life because I would have definitely killed both of us. But, uh, hell, I'm happy with fourth place there. Great win by Sam. That was a crazy race up front. Let's go see what we end up getting out of the results. Damn, even finishing fourth, we lost four. That's a little unfortunate. I thought finishing fourth, we'd still gain, but I think it's because the uh, 14 finished fifth and the 13 finished seventh, like some lower numbers finished really high, so they probably stole some from us, which is unfortunate, but uh, I really thought I was going to gain the slightest bit instead of lose. That's a little sad, but great win by Sam up there. That's absolutely crazy. Great racing with the top four all together. That was a lot of fun. We had the second fastest lap to uh, Cade in there. I think that was when uh, he was ripping the outside, I want to say, on, on one of the restarts. And he got that, so good on him. We, we were quick in the beginning, happy with a uh, pole. And uh, I knew, I, I wasn't like expecting a win or anything because we got pole. I knew this would get very top dominant, and I'm not very great up there. But I felt like we got better through the race the more I ran up there. And uh, we were able to do pretty decent there towards the end. Like I screwed up for a lap or two, and then we would catch it and then uh, keep on going. Because that one, like, 15 lap run we had we were running really fast on the top right on uh sam's ass and felt like we were slightest bit quicker than him and every time they updated us with the uh, leaders times we were running as fast or if not a slight bit quicker than them on that little bit of a run that we had but hopefully you guys enjoyed the race nonetheless very crazy finish i thought that the four and the three were going to get taken out together and then maybe ryan would have ended up in it because they were all going up the track and uh he was at the top so it might have been a three-way wreck and we could have potentially won it if uh, the four car missed that by like a few inches more with his rear end on the, the three car that was uh terrifying like if i was in his perspective on this car like that was like a flash of lightning across the uh, his face, which is crazy. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the race. Appreciate you guys for watching, as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.